Blessings to you, family. Welcome back. Last night I had a dream and I saw this woman and she was really intentional about making this small move. And I knew by the spirit that this was going to shift things drastically for her. Now you've heard me talk about these small moves, these small steps and just be obedient and quick obedience is what the Lord has been speaking about since last year. And so this is not anything new necessarily, but I want to share this. It coincides with the word God had given me a couple weeks ago. Now, this word I've I've just been having and I'm like, Lord, when do you want me to share it? And so by him giving me this dream last night, I know now is the time to share it because they go hand in hand. So the word that I had received a couple weeks ago was God has the next move. Now, this is why the dream I had was important. It was showing that some of you have already made moves. Some of you have already been obedient to the things that God has told you to do, whether it was big or whether it was something seemingly small in your eyesight. But God was saying, because you did that, now the next move is on him. So instead of you straining and struggling and trying to figure out what should you do next, all you have to do is release it over to him and trust that he is making the next move. Again, this is for those of you who have been obedient and already did that move. You already made that step, whatever that may be for you. I know a lot of you are in this place and in position where you're looking to physically move. You're looking to physically relocate somewhere else. Now, if God has given you a step to take, as it relates to that, make sure you're obedient, again, no matter how small it is, and then God will move next. It's almost like this with God. It's almost like this, um, you move and he moves. He told me that a couple of years ago, when I move, then he moves, and it keeps going back and forth like that. So you have to trust that that's what's going on. You want all 10 steps and all uh, 10 effects from those steps to happen at the same time. That's not how God moves. Often he will just give you an instruction. He'll let you follow that. And then he'll come and step in and do his part. Then he'll give you another instruction. So make sure that you're doing that quick obedience and trust that God has the next move. All right, family, I love you. I pray that this word was a blessing to you. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.